Hey, what's up guys? Pase Baller here. We are now on this first game for this February 11, 2022 NBA game day. This is Charlotte Hornets with a record of 28 wins and 28 losses. Visiting Detroit Pistons displaying a record of 12 wins and 43. This one will be played at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that's going to be 8 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. All right, uh, before uh, I proceed and talk about these two teams, I'm just inviting everyone who haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on the bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right, let's take a look at these two teams uh, by checking on the standings first. For Detroit Pistons, they are dead last in the Eastern Conference. Um, they are number 15. For the last 10 games, Detroit Pistons, uh, they've only won once. And approaching this game, Detroit Pistons is on a 6-game losing streak. Charlotte Hornets, uh, they are at number 9 in the Eastern Conference. For their last 10 games, man, they have only won 2 games. Yeah, you heard me right, 2 games and we're talking about Charlotte Hornets. Um, and believe me, you guys, uh, approaching this game, Charlotte Hornets has the same losing streak as these as Detroit. They are on a six-game losing slump. Okay. All right, so on this game, Detroit Pistons will be uh, enjoying the home court advantage, while um, it will be Charlotte Hornets who will be having the um, advantage of in, in fatigue, as Detroit Pistons already played last night against Memphis Grizzlies. In terms of momentum, Man, I can't see any momentum at all, man. Both teams are on a six-game losing slump. So let's just skip that part and proceed with a, uh, uh, call this, with a injury list for both teams. And just give me one moment here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, starting with uh, Charlotte Hornets. I see a lot of names. Okay. Starting with those who are out, um, we got Gordon Hayward, Jalen McDaniels, uh, Cody Martin. Uh, they are tagged as out for this game. And we have Book Knight, uh, who is tagged as probable. And uh, Harrell, the one that they picked up in Washington Wizards, is actually um, game time decision or day to day. Right, so again, for Charlotte Hornets, they have three uh, players out and then uh, possibly five, depending on Book Knight and Harrell's. Um, situations. For Detroit Pistons, um, I see four names down here. Uh, Livers, Pickett, and uh, Cunningham. Uh, they all won't play. Uh, while Marvin Bagley, uh, they, actually they actually received him uh, in that, in that uh, multi-team trade that happened. Um, not really sure though if uh, uh, Bagley would, would be receiving the clearance for him to join Detroit Pistons on this game. So, three confirmed out, possibly four, uh, depending on Bagley's uh, clearance or situation. Okay, the spread on this. Let me see, just to make sure that um, there weren't any um, updates or, or whatever. Okay, um, it opened with minus 6.5, and it is still with minus 6.5 for Charlotte Hornets. Okay, very, you know, very quick, um, uh, very quick sharing of my thoughts on this one. Charlotte Hornets and Detroit Pistons, they have the same situation right now. I mean, you can even take a look at it numbers-wise, man, they are on a six-game losing streak. You can take a look at their last 10 games. Charlotte just won uh, twice. Detroit has just won once. We can take a look at their injury list. They almost have the same number of players out for their team. Uh, but if we take a look at it, the story um, on these two teams is on, on these two and the, and these two teams are different. Detroit Pistons they are trying to uh, make a rebuild, uh, possibly a rebuild um, around uh, Cunningham. You know trying to surround Cunningham with those people that he would need so that they would have a formidable squad. While Charlotte Hornets, their season ain't over yet, man. They they are even, you know, they are even very much um 
capable of making it to the playoffs. I know they are on the losing streak, losing slump, but man, uh, we all know what Charlotte Hornets are capable of doing. I can remember maybe a couple of weeks ago, or maybe three weeks ago, they were having a winning streak. So, um, between these two teams, Charlotte Hornets, they have more reason to win. They have more motivation to win. And um, truth be told, they are the better team. You know, and they have the they have the pieces that they need so that they can actually win. The a ball is there, you know, Bridges is there, uh, Plumlee is playing. So uh, for Detroit Pistons, uh, number one Cunningham is not available on this. We ain't even sure if Bagley is still uh, is going to join them. And when they got Bagley, they actually uh, uh, shifted away uh, two players. Uh, and one that I really liked on that trade was Lyles. So they don't have Lyles anymore. Lyles is a big man coming off the bench who knows how to, you know, who knows how to grab those boards and who can actually shoot, shoot the three. I was about to say shit. Shoot the three. And he does it so well. He does it so well, man. But uh, they have a reason why they want Bagley. Um, as I was saying earlier, uh, Detroit is a bit short and they need him for those defense and for those rebounds. Uh, but on this one, Charlotte Hornets, uh, this is the break that, they're been, that they've been looking for so that they can uh, put the halt on their losing streak. I'm expecting Charlotte Hornets to win this game at the same time cover the spread. So my pick, Charlotte Hornets minus 6.5. Hornets minus 6.5. Peace out. Pase love and God bless.